I've got a group here called marketing. I can see the source of authority for this group is Windows Server Active Directory. So if I click into the marketing group, you'll notice that I can't delete the group and I also can't make changes to the group. And the reason for this, of course, is that the source of authority lies with Active Directory. So we're going to use both Enter ID and the Graph Explorer. So now that I'm logged in as my administrator, what you need to do is you need to grant consent. To do this, I'm just going to simply click into the filter box, click on group. This is the group on premises sync behavior. Click onto this. I'm then going to click on consent. It will just go through a little authentication. There are actually two permissions here that you need to do. So the first one is group read and write. Now, if you don't click this and you get an error that says error 403, it's probably down to those permissions. Next, I'm going into the group account in Enter ID and I'm just selecting the object ID and I'm going to copy this. Okay, and next what I'm doing is I'm going into the Graph Explorer. I'm going to click on to get. We're actually using a beta. I'm just going to paste this get command in. And the only thing that you need to put in is the group ID. As you can see, it's got a status of false, so it's not cloud native at the moment. The source of authority is Active Directory. So up here in Graph Explorer, instead of get, I'm going to change this to the patch command. Rather than using the Version one, I'm going into the beta and I'm copying the patch command across here. I'm going to paste it into the address bar. I'm going to remove the word ID. I'm going to paste that in. Is it cloud managed underneath? So you need to paste this in as well. And the, the idea is that yes, it's true. It is cloud managed this time. So here is the marketing group, but you can see I can now delete the group and likewise, as before, I can go into the members and I can also uh, add members.